All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to build this platform for a fridge for your back seat. It hooks into the current existing system for the seats. It's removable very quickly and literally can be applied to any truck that has a sorted mounting system for the seats. So let's get into it. All right, for this project, we're using 10 series 8020 extruded aluminum. This is one inch by one inch uh, extruded aluminum. I chose one sided smooth to help make it look a little bit better in the truck, but you know, you could choose whatever you want. Here we're going to assemble the frame, so we're putting in the middle supports and then the end pieces to make the top plate support, and we're going to start to connect that with all the angle brackets. Here you just want to make sure you're equally spacing out the, the support pieces, so then once that's done and you've marked your, your center points for all of them, you're going to go ahead and start to assemble. Don't forget to leave space for your end caps for the end rails. You also want to make sure you include all the T-nuts before you assemble this. Uh, if you don't, you'll have to disassemble and add all the T-nuts for your plan uh, after the fact. We're going to drill a hole for the actual connection to the truck. So we're going to tap the hole here first, then we're going to go ahead and start to drill through. So this will be the bolt uh, hole that you actually push through the truck seat frames into the top plate and then connect everything together with two screws. Once that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and start to build out our top frame here. So just measure the, the depth of your actual frame and then cut to length. And then we're also gonna bevel the edges so it looks a little nicer and you don't catch any edges, just like this. So once you have all that complete, create a grid like you see on that piece right there. So you can mark out where you're gonna drill all your holes. I started with the uh, T-nut holes here. So what this is, is an upside down T-nut that you push in. So I'm trying to get it flush right here. Once I have it dialed in, I then drill out the actual full size of the hole, and I'll go ahead and push in the T-nuts. And then from there, you're gonna drill out all the other holes and you're gonna make them recessed, just like this. So I unfortunately lost the footage for this, but there's a couple more pieces you have to add. So you have to add these upright support legs on the bottom. So these sit on the floor of the cab behind it. Basically, you just connect it with two of these angle braces into the T-track just have them connect across with the crossbar. The other piece here is this bar that connects into the seat mounts. So if you can see, it's got a slight angle bent to it. That's because the floor and the truck doesn't have a straight 90 degree angle to it. It's a little perpendicular with a little bit of an angle. So essentially you have to build this crossbar and then you have to drill a hole in it to mount into the screws. I only had one because I misjudged how far the other one was on this side. So essentially you have to build in two, but even with three, like I showed you guys, or I will show you, it is in there rock solid. The other parts that I forgot to show are these actual bracket mounts. So these are what tie the fridge in with ratchet straps, or just little pull straps. So you have four of them, one on each end, or excuse me, two on each end, and then you can see how all the holes are mounted. So they're actually flush mounted into the actual board of the uh, fridge mount. And then the last and final thing that we did before putting everything together was we put a coat of uh, bed liner on the actual piece that helps the fridge from sliding around, gives it a nice texture, and allows you to actually store the fridge without worrying about it getting dinged up. So here it is. So this is the mount that the actual frame sits on. So you'll take a bolt with a washer and a lock washer, push up underneath or thread it through and then connect it to those T-nuts that we put into the top board. And this is the front spot where you'll connect that crossbar to just one of the bolts uh, in this truck. So then it looks like this when it's installed. So I wanna show you guys how incredibly strong this mounting system is. It's only in there with three bolts. It's only got the first bolt on this bottom crossbar. Um, but watch the truck. It's really not going to go anywhere. So it's in there nice and strong. So if your truck has a system like this, highly recommend building a plate like this. Okay, so no gimmicks. Let me show you. It is, it is still in the truck. Like it, It's not anywhere going to come out. But I'm going to show you how quick I can take this out. So there's two different bolts. So let's get to it. So we'll start the timer here.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to hit the hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. But here's some examples of what it looks like when it's installed. You can see you still have access to a lot of the different storage areas. And hopefully this helps you with your plans for your truck.